everybody, I'm Juliana and this is the Sprocket Girl channel. I have gotten a lot of questions about the gear that I wear and the apparel that I wear while I'm mountain biking. So to address all of these questions, I'm bringing you a five part series of videos all about my gear and apparel. The five videos will be coming out on separate days this week, so stay tuned for all of them. I will be covering both my open face helmet as well as my full face helmet, the eye protection that I use, which means my sunglasses as well as my goggles, then my Tosco MTB gloves and socks, my favorite shorts and jerseys, and then lastly, the shoes that I wear. All right, let's get to it. So let me tell you all about the shoes that I wear for mountain biking. They're the Giro jacket shoes and they're flats, so they don't have any option to clip in. I've exclusively been riding platform pedals, so I haven't had the need for any other type of shoes. I bought these shoes in the beginning when I bought the bike, so I've been wearing them exclusively for the last three years and they've been wonderful shoes. I have not had any issues with them. They have survived the last three years of biking uh, without you know, falling apart or showing any holes or any other bad signs of falling apart. Uh, some of the features that I really like about these shoes are, for instance, that they have really nice padded lip here, so that feels really comfortable. Also, this part here is really padded, especially when you're kind of turning and twisting around on your pedals. It really provides a lot of good support for your feet. Another really handy feature that they have is this loop here. So after you've tied your laces, you can kind of stuff them underneath the loop here to keep them out of the way of your chain. I remember that my normal sneakers used to get caught in my commuter bike chain all the time and it was such an annoying thing and also really dangerous. So this is a great feature to have and it just keeps your laces nice and tucked away and you don't have to worry about that at all. Okay, I have to say that I'm really amazed by how little the sole of these shoes has shown signs of wear and tear, especially because I've been riding my race face Chester platform pedals for the last three years and they have these metal pins that are supposed to hold your shoe in place. So the only sign of wear and tear is that some of the knobs on the bottom of the shoe have been rubbed off on both of these shoes, but they haven't shown any holes at all. They haven't, the, the pins haven't pushed through the sole. So I have to say these are really great sturdy shoes and I can absolutely recommend them. The one thing that I have noticed is that the laces are extremely long. I have to double tie them to do a double knot. And then, like I said earlier, I stuffed them underneath this lip um, not a big deal at all. I think you could also just cut the laces off and then burn the end of them just to make them a little bit shorter. But so far it hasn't bothered me that much that I felt the need to do that. So while I'm not sponsored by Giro, I do absolutely love my Giro jacket shoes and I can absolutely recommend them. All right guys, so that's the last video in my five part series about the gear and apparel that I wear while biking. If you haven't seen the other four videos, go check them out. They all came out this week. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to my channel to support Sprocket Girl. And that's it. I will see you guys next week. Bye.